Okay, people, this is Edwin Leonard, part two, my 2011 NFL week one predictions. Okay, next game, Tampa Bay over Detroit. Tampa Bay is coming off a season when they went 10-6 and six and simmering over the fact they didn't make the playoffs. Detroit is an up-and-coming team that should make the postseason this year. They had a stupendous draft, however, give a slight edge to Tampa Bay at home. Next game, Arizona over Carolina. Carolina has a new quarterback in Cam Newton, new coaching staff, and optimism. However, it's going to take time for them to get gel and work cohesively. Arizona is 14 and 10 at home. The last three seasons, Carolina is a deplorable 7 and 17 on the road. The past three seasons, go with Arizona. Next game, San Diego over Minnesota. San Diego will be out with a vengeance this season. They finished first in offense and first in defense and still managed to miss the playoffs. The Vikes got quarterback Donovan McNabb and running back Adrian Peterson, but not much else. Go with San Diego. Next game, San Francisco over Seattle. Seattle gave up 29.3 points per game on the road last season. San Francisco annihilated Seattle last season in San Francisco, beating them 40-21. 49ers were 4-2 and two in their division last season. They acquired head coach Jim Harbaugh from Stanford. Go with the home team in this matchup. Okay, New York Giants over Washington Redskins. The Giants have dominated the Redskins in recent memory. Eli Manning should be able to outduel Rex Grossman. Manning led the NFL in INTs last season. Muchly due to the fact that they had an epidemic called dropsy, and this is attributed to the receivers dropping a num uh, defl uh, deflecting a number of these passes, which ultimately led to interceptions. If he doesn't throw more than one interception, the Giants will win. Next game, New York Jets over Dallas. In this game, I look for Rex Ryan to throw a confusing array of defensive coverages at quarterback Tony Romo and company. The Cowboys will very well be without cornerback. Terrence Newman and tight end Mark Martellus Bennett. Jets have Super Bowl aspirations. Cowboys believe they do. Jets in a close one. New England over Miami. New England is 7-3 and three in their last 10 versus Miami. The Patriots bring back the nucleus of an offense last season that led the NFL in scoring. They added wide receiver Chad Ochocinco and threatened to be even better on offense. The Dolphins have a solid defense, but it won't be enough to win the game. Last but not least, Oakland over Denver. Oakland owned the division last season, sweeping Denver, obliterating them by a combined 98-37 score. Denver brought in Von Miller to help neutralize Oakland's running game. Oakland was second in yards per game last season. Denver allowed near 155 yards per game, second worst in the league. You do the math, people. One player won't make that much impact against the Oakland strong running game. Go with Oakland in a good win this game.